Ant, I love you, bro. And I'm so proud of you. You and Tara, y'all take care of each other. Tara, all I'm gonna say is, is make sure that you are his number one cheerleader at all times. Number one cheerleader at all time, no matter what he do. But also keep him on a straight line because that's what a queen does to a king. I'm so proud, man. I love you, bro. To Tara, my cousin, my sister, one of my very best friends. I'm so honored and excited to be standing beside you on one of the happiest days of your life. Thank you. Anthony, something I always admired about you was your un, undying love for Tara. I don't think any of us can deny that. I know that with her, with you, you will always protect, provide care, love, and respect her. And I think that that's all we, the people who hold her really close to us, really hold you really close. I think that's all we could ever ask for. Since day one, I've seen it with my own eyes. I literally have been there since day one. And you have always, always done that for her. And I know you will continue throughout this marriage. And I'm so excited for you guys and your journey and you look good, baby. I, I, I do good when I birth kids. You see the other ones. <laughs> yeah. I am the only child. I don't have any biological siblings, but of course, Tara is like my sister. So she means so much to me. And so just for that, Anthony, thank you so much for making her one of the happiest people I know. Tara, I love you. Anthony, I love you. And cheers to forever.
to get it when you you are just the kindest person, the sweetest person, the most giving in the world. You're amazing. I'm just so happy to say that I'm able to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm happy to, to share it. I'm, I'm almost, I mean, I'm not an only child, but I'm the baby. So <laughs> just sharing is kind of hard for me. So just having you teach me how to share, how to love properly, just <laughs> how to, <laughs> how to just, again, be a better woman. I'm just so excited for our next greatest adventure. We've known each other for 14 years. 14 years. We've been together for eight. And so I'm so ready to start this next journey with you. All right. I'm Steve. I'm the best man. So Terry, pardon <laughs> Do you take hand to be a lawful white house? I absolutely do. <laughs> and Anthony, do you take Tara to be your lawfully wedded wife? To love her, not done. <laughs> to love her, to honor her, to look at her like you do today and every day that I see you guys together. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. talk to each other, how they look at each other. It's just so special. It is literally just God's love wrapped around y'all and it's, it's, it's just so special. I hope this day is all that you want and more, but I just pray God's covering over this marriage that y'all continue to talk to each other, to love on each other, and I wish you nothing but the best from the bottom of my heart. The way up here, he was curling his hair from Chestnut Street from the barbershop all the way till we got here. My man got like a thousand curls in his head. <laughs> but I, you changed my man for the better, though. Like, I see nothing but good, and I wish y'all nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Even living on Brooklyn Street, like, we've been through a lot, and y'all know. <laughs> y'all know we've been through a lot living on Brooklyn Street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Congratulations to you, Ed. I love you. You're going to be my bro forever. I'm always here for you, bro. Congratulations, my man.